Amazon với mức giá cực kỳ ưu đãi như đăng ký brand với USBTO, Tùm Helium Hand, Nutrigo Scout, Logistics và Warehouse. Xem hình thông tin chi tiết dưới phần mô tả nhé. Hey, what's up, guys? I just want to shoot a real quick loom here on uh, the configuration for Helium 10 and Cellarize at the same time. This is a pretty popular kind of setup configuration. So uh, basically, you'll you'll have already determined your top 10 ASINs. If your ASIN is one you want to analyze, make sure it's in the cell here. Uh, have all your checkboxes checked for your ASIN data. The Helium 10 data, you want, you'd want Cerebro, X-Ray, File, XR without the two, and then XR2. You don't need XR2 if you um if if all the data is on the first page so you would have gathered that uh if all the data from sorry for the top 10 asins are on the first page you would have gathered that with the x-ray file so in that case you actually don't need xr2 but i typically just grab it anyway because it's fast so you would have saved that data as well as your cellarized data you've got your re-ranker file in the Qbert hunter file so that gets saved in step two Uh, pretty pretty self-explanatory when you have the boxes checked and you click the download button it's just going to take you to the correct spot to save the files you can check out the uh, training guide if, if you need screenshots and stuff but it's pretty intuitive uh, as far as where to save the files though your cellarized two files you, you see here they go in the keyword sources new other directory so, you, so right there and then you've got your helium 10 files that uh, the three files here go in the keyword sources new helium 10 folder so Um, if you ever forget, it's written here as well. So you can see um, where they go in the other folder, Helium 10 folder, Helium 10 folder. So uh, pretty basic there. That's kind of the first thing you need to just make sure you have the file saved and they're named accordingly. So you can see CR, XR2, XR, and that matches up to the name codes here. So. Uh, and, and pretty much all the reports work the same way. So if you understand what I'm doing here, you can pretty much do any of these other reports as well. So um, anyway, after you have the files saved, uh, you're pretty well good to go. The only other thing you might want to understand is if you have this box checked here, as the data gets imported, it's going to move from this keyword sources new directory into the keyword sources imported directory. So the directory is set up the exact same way. It's just the Uh, imported files get moved from the new folder to the imported folder. That way it keeps the new folder clean for the next uh, niche or, or, you know, product you want to set up and run with. You still use the same folder structures. It just kind of keeps the folders organized better. That's all that feature's for. By default, it's actually off. So I'm going to turn it off. Uh, I typically don't use it, but most users do use it. So it's just a matter of preference. All right. So I've got all the files saved. Good to go. Pretty simple. You're just going to click imported or import data. You'll get a prompt here. All right, so I'm just going to hit yes. All right, so you can see you'll get this kind of status update as the data gets imported. Um, if you do get any sort of error, the first thing I would check is like open up the physical file. Make sure you didn't accidentally download the wrong file. Uh, but if you do download the correct file, it should be, uh, and you name it correctly, it should work fine. So you can see there's our x-ray files. And we'll get our Cellarize update here in just a second. All right, so there you go. I'm just going to hit OK. <clears throat> all right, so up to this point, all it means is that Um, the data has been imported into the tool. So we don't have the listing wizard tab or anything built yet. It just means the data is available to use. Um, so that's where you hop over to the keyword sources tab and the Cerebro tab. And the Cellarize tab are the ones we're working with. So you can see the Cellarize data actually got imported uh, directly to the keyword sources here. The, the Helium 10 data is still on the back end. So basically what you need to do is You need to determine which settings you want to set here. Uh, the default ones are, are pretty decent, to be honest with you. So this just means uh, it's going to assign a score. Um, it's basically counting up how many competitors are uh, have keywords uh, under 30 positions. So organic rank 1 to 30. If they um, have that, then it's going to get counted in the score here. You'll see And basically we're using this kind of logic to determine how relevant the keywords are based on how many competitors are ranking well for them. So that's kind of the idea. But 
essentially all you need to all you need to do and understand to get the data is in there is click on add keywords to target list. And you're here to come into Helium 10, click add Cerebro keywords. That's going to pull it from the back end, and then you'll see it's going to populate here on the keyword sources uh, kind of dashboard. So I'm just going to hit yes. All right, and then when this prompt comes up, if it's, if it's your first run, just go ahead and hit no. All right, and then you'll just click OK. All right, and then at that point, you will have had all your data in the Listing Wizard tab, at least from your Helium 10, populated over here. So now would be the time if you wanted to go back and add your sellerized data, you can. So you just come back here and you can check this box to see anything that's you know already on the target list. It'll turn green if it is. This this data is not related to this this other data set, so it's not going to make a whole lot of sense. But you would you would check this. Anything that's green, you can um, you know you know that it's already on the target list. And then any you want to move manually, you can basically just check the boxes like this. And then if you want to move them over to your target keyword list, you just come up and add manual keywords, and then it sends them all over to the um, you know your target keyword list here. And then all your sellerized data would show up in this kind of section over here. Now, it's not in this case because, it, again, it's not related to my, um, I pulled in kind of two niche, two, two data sets that are from different niches. So that's why it's not kind of registering, but you get the picture. It's, um, that's kind of where the data shows up. So. Anyway, I just wanted to run through that quick example. Pretty basic once you kind of understand the concept of how kind of the data importing and stuff works. So. Hopefully that makes sense. Feel free to reach out to support or reference the uh, guide if you have any questions. Anh chị đang bán hàng trên Amazon. Scarab cung cấp các dịch vụ dành cho các nhà bán hàng trên Amazon với mức giá cực kỳ ưu đãi. Vì đang tiếp brand với USBTO, từ Helium 10, từ Jungle Scout, logistics và warehouse. Xem hình thông tin chi tiết dưới phần mô tả nhé.